Hey guys, I know the camera angle is a little different, um, but this is a really big uh, project and this is the best I can do with getting most of it in the camera frame at the same time. So anyway, um, in case you don't get it by what you see on the table, we're going to do some acrylic pouring today. We are going to be working on a chakra series of pours I'm going to do um, each one of the different chakras, um, all seven of them on these small canvases. One, two, three. Yeah, seven. Um, and then I'm also going to do a chakra series of, of all seven different colors on um, this one big canvas for a couple of different reasons, mostly because I don't have enough of these little ones and I don't want to go spend any money right now. I also want to do the chakra series twice because I want to do uh, one set with a Liquitex pouring medium that I'm familiar with and another set with a deco art pouring medium that I just found out about on the Myrtle Beach Art Retreat. So we are going to do that. First thing I need to do, put on my apron. <clears throat> Alrighty, now we've got the apron on. There we go, yes. I'm gonna roll the sleeves up. Now I got the shock colors from my sister who's much more knowledgeable about this and feng shui and lots of other Eastern philosophies than I am. And she sent me a cheat sheet of the colors and which chakras they stand for. Thank you, Elizabeth. And we're gonna start with purple. Get my tools out of the way. I already pre-set up the boards. I have them in this big white tray. This is a, a tray that normally fits underneath a washing machine in case it overflows, it doesn't get all over your house. Um, and these are great for doing pouring in because you can do the pour, let it dry in the tray, and the mess doesn't go anywhere like on my brand new floor. Um, I also have these wooden boards instead of stretch canvas because you get a, I think a better pour. You don't have the canvas, so sometimes when the paint gets heavy, dip in the middle um, because it gets heavy. And with the boards, you don't have that. Um, I have already taken care to put something underneath them to lift them up a little bit and to make sure that they are level. <clears throat> the first chakra color is, that we're gonna do is the crown chakra, which is purple. So, I'm gonna grab a bunch of different purples, uh, mostly for my deco art paints, and I'll be right back. Okay, I've got four different colors of purple. Um, the three um, craft paints are deck, all deco art. This, these, the, these two bottles are actually the same color. Where are we? These two bottles? There we go. These are actually the same color. Um, and, and this is purple pizzazz. And then I have deep periwinkle, oops, dioxazine purple. And then I have one metallic, which is actually a folk art co color shift color, which is purple flash. And then some white. Okay, so we're gonna get out, whoops. We're gonna get out four little cups um, in the Dixie cup size and then four of these teeny tiny ones. I need one big cup for some meat. Okay. This white's been sitting in this bottle since before I moved, so I'm not sure what the consistency is like. It might need me to add some. Let's see. Can't get it open. Okay. 
Okay, we might just be happy to do it this way. Seems a little thick to me. Let's see. Yeah, that's a little thick. Now this white already has uh, Liquitex pouring medium in it. I'm gonna add a little bit of Floetrol or Flood as it's sometimes known. I can't get anything open today. What is the deal? There we go. Got it. So it'll be the only paint that doesn't have the Liquitex in it. Because I've already got it mixed up and it's already got the... I mean, it doesn't have the deco art medium in it. I have this feeling with the deco art medium, we might not need to add any water because it seems like it's already a thinner consistency, but let's, we're going to try it. Oh yeah, it's too thick. So that messy, dirty spray bottle is water. If you can see it, I don't even know if you can. I think I need to move you closer. Yeah, that's better. So the messy, dirty spray bottle has water in it, and you really want your paint to just pour off your stick that you're stirring it with. Yeah, that's better. So this definitely needs a little, um, some water in it. I wish I could get the lid off. Let me see if I can get some pliers. couple things that since I moved I just can't get the lids off of them. This is not the first one. There we go. Okay, so what I want to do is just make a whole bunch of this up because that's we're gonna need a lot of the white. And whatever I have left over I'll just put back in this bottle. Now the flow trolley you get at your hardware store, for those that don't know, usually in the paint department. It's a paint additive. House paint additive, I should say. Oh yeah, that's better. Okay. Okay, now we're going to pour our purples. We're going to put a little bit in this one. This is for this big one, and the bigger cup is for the other. Okay. I just want to use up these little tiny cups. It's the same color. Then we're going to use this other purple. Dioxazine purple. And then that purple flash. The only other color on any of these besides the chakra color is going to be white, which is why we made up the white. So in the ones in the Dixie cups, we're going to add Liquitex. That's matte medium, hello, this one. The Liquitex pouring medium. I usually goes 50-50 with the paint or two thirds medium, one third paint, something like that. Uh, see, this one's clogged too.
Okay. Oh, what did I just do? Holy cow, people. What did I just do? First of all, yeah. to do this right, shall we? So the deco art pour medium look to me looks and feels like a watery white glue. I did get to play with it while I was in Myrtle Beach a bit and it feels kind of like white glue too whereas the other one has a different consistency and seems to, even out of the bottle, have a different level of translucency. Is that a word? I don't even know if that's a word. I should put gloves on, <clears throat> just because this can get really messy. So, let's do that. Okay, so we've got our mediums in there. We're going to add a bit of flood to each one. And then before we add any water, we'll mix it up and see what the consistency is like. You really want it, like I said, to pour in a nice stream off the stick. You want it to sort of be the consistency of cream. And the medium should dry clear. So all you should be left with is the color of the paint. Yeah, that's pretty good actually. Make sure you scrape the bottom of the cups. A stir and then you just let them sit for a second. Most of the air bubbles should rise to the top that you just put in there from stirring them up. But just in case I've got my mini torch out, we're going to be using that at the end. See, I would have thought the deco art medium would be a bit thinner. We're not going to thin it down anymore. We're going to try it the way it is. I don't think it's running off as smoothly as I would like, but. Which honestly, like I said, is not the reaction I expected. 
I guess purple's going in that corner there. I don't know if y'all can see that from the camera angle you have, but I've splattered purple on the big canvas a couple times already. The longest, the thing that takes the longest when you're doing acrylic pouring is mixing up your paint. So I'm not gonna film, you know, mixing up all the colors of all the paint because this is tedious. But um, we will, um, I will show you this part. Now, the only color that won't have um, silicone in it is the white. Everything else is going to have silicone in it. going to start with turning this around so I got purple right there. <clears throat> so for both of these we're going to build um, a dirty cup. But first I'm going to um, flood the canvas with some of the white because that'll make the colored paint flow easier. Now on this really big one I'm only going to put the white approximately where I'm going to put the color that I'm currently working with just because I don't want it to dry before I get all the color on there. Just makes the paint flow a little easier. Okay, now we're going to make our dirty cups. So, first, I'm going to do the one with the Liquitex in it, which is going to go on the little canvas. I'm going to start with some white. Then I'm going to start layering my purples. And in between the purples, I'm going to put some more white. It's probably way too much paint, but that's okay. It's a very messy process. That's why you want to do it over a tray. So we're going to do the same thing with the one with the deco art medium in it. And by the way, I did get, you know, I got to play with it, like I said, at the Myrtle Beach Art Retreat, and I was pretty impressed. I liked working with it. That was a lot of white. And I can tell you where I'm already getting cells. I didn't put silicone in any of these. Look at that. Can you see that? I'm gonna, I'm gonna take my gloves off and grab the camera. That's the deco art pouring medium. I haven't even done anything to it yet. Look at all that cells. And I forgot to put silicone in the Liquitex, so who knows what's gonna happen. One with the Liquitex in it, which we forgot to put silicone in. Oh well. Okay. 
or getting some cells. Just gonna move it around and stretch it a bit. Like that. The deco art one is really doing something other than forgetting the silicone, it's the same. All right, let's get our torch ready. Let's see what happens. Okay, well, all we can do is let those sit and see what happens to them and go to the next color. So now at this point, I'm going to fast forward through it. I'm gonna to try to remember on the next successive colors to put silicone in them, but I'm getting cells from both without it, so maybe not. Um, and, but, and those that might be from the mediums, but it's more than likely from the flow, flow troll. So anyway, we're gonna to go to the next color, which is blue, and I will be right back.
Okay guys, I didn't catch all of that on camera because honestly, the battery died. And I've got my spare in the camera now. Anyway, here is the big canvas um, board with the deco art pouring medium. I used mostly deco art paints. I used Americana paints, some deco art media acrylic paints, um, some Americana neons, and a few deco art metallics. Uh, but I also used some folk art dazzling metallic color shift. Sorry, color shift. The, I think the deco art is dazzling. Yeah. Dazzling metallics. Um, chakra colors are sort of like rainbow. And uh, so, yeah, anyway, they stand for different things, but yeah. So here's that one. And here are the little ones which will hang in a row in a line from purple to blue to teal to green to yellow, orange, and then red. They turned out super cool. Very messy. If anybody ever tells you acrylic pouring is fun, they're right. Is not messy, they're wrong. <laughs> it's a really messy process. Anyway, I'm gonna let things dry and I'm gonna clean up. And when these are dry, I'll try to include another shot. I'll be back.